Select a gradient field layer in Affinity Photo. You can create that using the gradient tool, as well as applying swatches. Once you've got that, go to Filters, Distort, and Equations. Instead of using the default, go for Polar, R, keep it as R, and T, paste this in. You can see it in the description. All right, once you've done that, you've got these parameters. You can see the A, B, and the C. You can now tweak these down here, so I'm just going to set the C quite low. Parameter B, you can just tweak that, and again, keep that fairly low as well. And you can move it around as well. You can change your origin point. You can get more or less of the colors in, so you get this lovely burst design very quickly using this equation. And of course, you can tweak the equation. Don't have to keep it exactly the same. You could put 25 in, remove the A, up to you. Also, if you want to fill this area in, you can always go here and set it to mirror and that extends it out. And you can apply. Well, you can also blend it with the original design. So go up here to layer and fade equations. So that equation is then faded and you can set it obviously there to zero. Doesn't make sense, I know. You're fading it back to the original. But here, the key thing is blend mode. And you can run through it. As you do that, you can see the result of that. Maybe go for vivid light or go for difference or exclusion. Just try them out. Or negation or average. Whole load of different, maybe luminosity. Click apply. So with that, you can now apply it again. So you can always go to filters and distort and again, equations. This time, just go here, polar again, use a R and T, exactly the same equation. Again, you can tweak the equation, paste that in, and you can see the default, it's just a circular design. But if you change the C, change the B, and again, you can see exactly the same sort of design as before, that sort of burst, but this time you've got even more extreme colors, something like that. And again, instead of zero, use mirror to extend it out and click apply. Exactly the same as before, layer and fade equations, and you can blend it. And just go through there, maybe color burn. Whole range of different designs can be just created very quickly using this combination. Maybe that one, exclusion, and click apply. You can also, of course, go to filters, go to distort and deform. Maybe deform the design. Instead of using rigid, which is the default, go with similarity. So similarity, add some pins, and just distort the design. So just click on those and drag and distort it. And of course, what you can also do is once you've done that, you can see the result of that, you can then use this with that equation as well. So you've got this lovely distortion, all the colors are warping. Click apply, then go to filters and distort equations, and then go here, polar, and again, paste in. And you can see, you can just obviously do this multiple times to create all kinds of unusual color designs very quickly. And you can just move it. Sometimes it seems to work best. Instead of leaving it in the center, just drag it over a bit over that, that way. And again, just tweak it. And there's certain points, certain positions where you think, you know what, that just looks right. Sometimes it isn't right and you can just move it, just the slightest change. And you'll get a totally, well, sometimes brilliant, sometimes not so great result. And once you're happy with that, click apply. And you can fade it again or apply other filters such as mirror and many others. You can also apply color effects. Always go to filters, colors, and maybe auto levels.